Alright everyone, I'm cutting back in. It's been a couple days, but uh, I cannot find... Uh, anyways, uh, the it's not here anymore. It's disappeared. But at the same time, when I look on uh, the address on blockchain, let me refresh it. There it is. That's the, There's the address right there. Shows it right there, unconfirmed. And it's been like this for a while. You can see today's the um, the 11th and it's the 5th. Um, here's the actual transaction from the treasure hunt. I'll also refresh that. And you see right here there's the treasure hunt wallet. And it shows unconfirmed. It's been that way since also the 5th. And the, But it's disappeared from here on my Bitcoin wallet you see the address is also the same so um, I'm gonna try something a little different here ironically I scanned I rescanned it again and I got a cold storage again uh, cold storage spending you're using a private key with the following Bitcoin and it shows that it's still there. So I'm going to go ahead and try this with my mycelium wallet. And I'm going to give that a shot. So let's let's see if that works. Um, go, ahead, go ahead and just send. And I'm going to add a fee this time. I'm going to put a manual entry into it. Let's see if I can do this. Copy that. Okay. Go into the address here. Let's see what happens if I. Why not? I'll try to re-double spend it here. Okay. Um. Enter amount. That'll be the max amount. Actually, hold on. Let me put insufficient funds. A low priority of 80 cents. Let's go back in here. Uh, you got to set the fees first, and then go in here. And uh, let's re let's redo that whole thing. Let's go max, so I can send everything. I put a low priority on it. I'm not in a rush. And then okay, it's uh, 68 cents. Um, all right, let's do that. Let's move my bitcoins first, and then I'll. I might have to do another thing as as far as splitting uh, the keys here. Um, so, first attempt didn't quite work. Let's see if this one works. I want to move my bitcoin first, and then try to move my. Um, Bitcoin Cash Wallet. Let's see how that works. Let's go ahead and just give that a try. Uh, send. Okay. It says it did it again. Well, let's let's see if I can. Let's see what it shows. Still shows a zero fee. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Let's see what happens. All right, this is just blockchain info. Let me go to another one. Let me cut in, cut out real quick. All right, so uh, I went ahead and rescanned the private key one more time, and. It does show a zero balance and it, it is sending. Okay, so it does show that. On um, here, uh, it doesn't show anything. It doesn't 
doesn't show anything yet. It's still showing the older, older version of it. this here as well. No, nope, no, that's the... that's something else. That's a treasure hunt wallet. Sorry. There you go. There it is again. It's still zero balance, so let me, let me try a different uh, explorer and see what happens. All right, so um, I checked it again, and this is, I'm still getting the same thing with a zero transaction fee. I'm confirmed for six days. I'm just going to have to see and wait. Um, it's a long wait, so uh, I'll just have to wait. That's all I can do right now. Uh, so, anyways, uh, that's just an update. Uh, let me uh, cut in and cut out. Uh, I did also did a zero, let me see, it's a zero transaction fee on um, the Bitcoin Cash and uh, let me see here. There we go. Uh, right here, Bitcoin Cash, and it's also showing nothing yet. I think it just shows nothing. Anyways, uh, let me cut in cut out and let's see how long it takes. All right, I'm cutting back in and uh, it just appeared, but this is the old balance. And see, it's right there, still waiting for confirmation. So, uh, don't know what's going on. I think I'm gonna just have to wait until it drops, or something happens. I'm not sure, but either way, it did pop up after looking at it. So I do have my, I still have my balance here unconfirmed. That's the old transaction, and then right here, there's the other old transaction, my Bitcoin Cash transaction. So, uh, anyways, I, I can't find a good explorer uh, for the Bitcoin Cash, so I can't look up the transaction ID, but I guess I just have to wait. Uh, in theory, I think you can wait to infinity, but uh, let's see what happens. It says received. Unfortunately, it will not let me spend an unconfirmed transaction. Uh, if I could, I would probably add a fee to. I would add a fee to it being sent out again, and then hopefully it'll get confirmed by another miner. Uh, but this one, uh, this will not allow me to send an unconfirmed transaction. So yes, it shows, still shows a balance of zero here and here. So. Anyways, we'll see what happens. All right, everyone, I'm cutting back in, and I basically got some good news. Um, I just checked it. It had seven confirmations. But when I looked here, it's a different transaction. looks like the Mycelium wallet worked to uh, replace by fee, essentially, is, I think, what I did. I'm not too sure. But if I look at it right now, uh, there's that 68 cents right there 68 cents and there is the fee right there and so um, Transaction received time today, so um, I Essentially double spent if you didn't notice that uh, I sent it to the same address um, I just refreshed it as you see right there and uh, as you can see that uh, transaction ID has changed from the previous one. So there you see an example of double spending. Okay, so let me check. Um, okay, so I got my Bitcoin. All right, what about my Bitcoin Cash? And it is still there and cannot be found anywhere. Uh, what I might do, because unfortunately Mycelium doesn't do Bitcoin Cash, um, and as far as I know, hold on here, let me, let me see that. So let's back up on the transaction here. So there it is, confirmed. 
So there was a way for me to. Um, it seems it seems like zero transaction fee will not go through. I waited five days. It uh, it just uh, won't go through for whatever reason. I could wait for it to drop. I could just hope and let it go to infinity. Uh, but from looking at Bitcoin Cash, it doesn't seem to be. Um, well, looking from Bitcoin Cash, I'm still waiting for the transaction on Bitcoin Cash. So go figure that. Um, So, uh, however, if you do go to um, the Koinami support, uh, they give you a lot of information, uh, important um, when and how to transfer. Um, uh, here's a little thing I did want to share with you. Uh, Koinami Co is how to get Bitcoin Cash from many wallets software. I'm going to click on that. There's a lot of other stuff, uh, QR issues looks like they're having, but there's, there we go. But it looks like here uh, they give you um, some information on all the different wallets that you can use um, to import the private keys or the recovery uh, seed. Uh, this is anything before the hard fork as, as it says right here. Uh, if you have any wallet before the hard fork, that you want to split and you have issues with splitting your Bitcoin cash uh, you can use Coinami you'll probably be a lot faster than what I did um, if you have private keys to scan I'd highly recommend put put some fees on it if you could I'll probably uh, transfer faster so they talk about uh, multi-bit HD multi-bit classic blockchain info uh, they do talk about mycelium uh, this is probably, um, you know, your mnemonic um, recovery seed. A lot of these you can do it that way. Bread wallet, just a lot of stuff. Okay, excellent. Electrum, um, they give you core, air bits, um, jacks, jacks wallet. Um, paper wallet, immediately sweepable. So you can just sweep, just create a uh, Bitcoin cash. Uh, add that coin to the your wallet. Um, counterparty wallets, uh, Air Airbits wallet. What else? Um, Omni wallet. There you go. So there's a lot. Um, let me see here. There was some other stuff that I wanted to show. Um, let me see if I can find them. Yep, guess not. Well, if you're wondering how to get to that, um, if you go here, oh, get out of that here. Okay, if you go to here. And you go into um, contact support. Uh, I'll just use Firefox here once. And then, of course, it'll open up to the browser here. I wanted to. Um, it says here, let me see QR scan issues. Maybe they're having some QR scan issues. I'm not sure or not. Um, just address. There's there's some um, ambiguous address since it's split, but that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for okay. Here here it is. Uh, can you cancel my transaction? So let me. push on that and then um, right now Coinami does not let you do replace by fee uh, it says here the following workarounds currently exist and Coinami is hard at implementing them for future release uh, child pays for parent 
um, replace by fee uh, first scene safe replace by fee I'm not sure if I did something like that or replace by fee or first scene replace by fee or child pay, pays for parent but you saw the way I did it um, I, I scanned it with mycelium resent it with a higher fee it seemed to broadcast that's all I know and so obviously the uh, older transaction the one that was unconfirmed got dropped immediately and was picked up by the one with the fee I might um, what I might have to do okay what I might have to do with my Bitcoin cash is I might have to um, I might have to try to rescan it. I might have to uh, with a different wallet. Um, I'll see how that goes. I might have to actually use Electron Cash or wait for this to drop. So, anyways, the most important thing was I received my Bitcoin. That's the most important thing. All right. So um, let me cut in and cut out and let's see what happens. All right, everyone, I'm coming back in and here is my Coinami wallet showing the transaction here. Okay. This is my Bitcoin. I finally had to use my mycelium to pull that out. Had a basically double spend for the most part. Um, now here's my two Bitcoin addresses that I used. I try to pull it again. Uh, here's one I did a wallet split on, and and as you can see, it here it is, right? Unconfirmed. Unconfirmed. I've been waiting five days, and and I've also got another Bitcoin address I just made again to see if I could scan again, and I sure enough, uh, I, I scanned it again. And the problem is when I sweep the keys. Even though it's password protected and I sweep it, it sweeps it without zero fees. That's why I'm getting the full amount here. And I'm getting the same problem. It's it's and I just did this and it gives me another transaction ID. Problem is when I look it up on um Blockdozer. When I look it up on Blockdozer, alright, uh this is this is the address I'm using now, okay? Um, I actually got it pulled. I finally got it pulled. Amazingly, there's the there's the address it comes from. There's the actual address that hasn't confirmed yet. Um, I have to use uh, my wife's computer, uh, something we don't use a lot. But let, let me just show you what I had to do. So um, as you see it, you see it on my Coinami wallet. So. Unfortunately, Coinami has kind of failed at this part. Um, hopefully, they're watching. But uh, I tried to sweep my private keys using the BIP38 password encrypted private key, and it sweeps it without any fees. Even though I've went to settings and I've actually changed the fees, uh, I've changed the fee for Bitcoin. I've also changed the fee for Bcash and for whatever reason when I sweep it with my uh, password protected private keys it, it sweeps it without any fees and that's why it was just in in the mempool for such a long time. Uh, I, I tried zero and it well I tried 10 Satoshis for each of them originally and I sweeped it for zero fees I changed it to 120. It wouldn't sweep. It just wouldn't sweep it right. Um, so I don't know if there's an issue or not. Bcash. I changed this to the default. Again, it swept it on the uh, on the new address down here. Oh. On the new address down here, it swept it with zero fees because if you look at that amount. you look at that amount that is the full amount and so I'll try to explain what I what I had to do so um, I had to get on 
my wife's computer it's a it's, it's not a Windows XP so this is a Windows Windows 10 or something so I had to um, actually use electron cache and I use the desktop version all right I uh, use the Windows Windows version right here um, matter of fact uh, here here it is and as you can see I've swept the keys I've got a transaction going here I've already broadcasted it so it's already broadcast so what what I do is I go to wallet and private key and sweep now here's the thing is um, oh, it gave me a new gave me a new address so I guess it's uh, an HD wallet as well so it gave me a new address as well but anyways um, my issue was mine's password protected so if I put a password protected in here and, I, and I'm going to reveal my my private key since um, by the time I've uploaded this it's probably got a confirmation um, this may be a two-part series on this but uh, oh man yeah okay well well I guess I'll show you what I did okay oh gosh here let me let me cut in cut out all right anyways um, I push this scan and it there's a camera that comes up and then I have this scan the private the encrypted private key I put in the password and uh, keep in mind this is the password I'm still gonna use the same private key everybody to um, reload it for those people who can remember this password and um, basically uh, I'll, I'll put something back in at a later time but uh, anyways this is just for demonstration uh, what you do is once you make a wallet you don't have to make a wallet but uh, let me see hopefully this won't move so you you know you make your you make your wallet it doesn't really matter and you go over here into wallet details and then you can put your private key and you, your it recognizes as a bip 38 and so you just want to decrypt it to get your private keys so this is what you're doing right now you're basically decrypting to get your private keys out of it and uh, I'll show you why because when you get over here um, you just it has to be a regular private key it can't be your encrypted private key so that's that's the issue so I'm gonna let this thing just run its course and there you go okay so it's it decrypted the private key and so here's the here's that here's the public key right here right it, sh it shows a public key and then down here here's your here's your private key that uh, that you originally saw um, so you can sweep that or remember this uh, at some point I'm gonna load it with some bitcoins later on anyway so there there's and there's more more public uh, private keys and then um, more private key information so and then this is the actual encrypted private key right here that that you that you basically saw but it's not in a QR form so uh, it decrypts everything and uh, so this is how you decrypt it if you just go into wallet details right here and then put in the information that you need to do anyways um, so that's the actual private key here. You copy that, and then um, I should just copy that here. You copy that. I'll just do it. Copy. It doesn't matter. I already pulled it out. And by the time you see this, it's hopefully be confirmed, and you paste it on here. There you go. And once you do that it'll go to this address which is uh, which is um, okay well anyways there's nothing there's nothing to pull in here that's why I'm not going to do it uh, but once you do that uh, it'll say sweep it'll allow you to sweep before if it doesn't if, if the address or the private key doesn't match up it like uh, I'll show you um, I'll take uh, I'll take the four out of here and then you see here it, it doesn't it doesn't allow you to, to click on it so it has to have a, like a the full private key and then then it'll let you select it so anyways 
that's how it's done and uh, this is the history right here here's my receive Okay, so this is the address that I used to, uh, sorry about that, this is bad, a bad video. Okay, that's the address I used to uh, receive, that's my Bitcoin cash address. And then, of course, you see the, uh, the history right here, it's still showing un unconfirmed. Uh, I just let it choose the fee for me, because if you don't put a fee in there, it will just not... It will not show, and so here is um, here is the address. Let me refresh, and uh, there finally I'm getting an unconfirmed there we go. I'm finally getting an unconfirmed transaction. So finally getting it. So I guess from this point on, I'm gonna use. Uh, this wallet, Bitcoin Cash wallet, and uh, that's how you split your Bitcoin Cash. Um, unfortunately, Coinami doesn't quite do it as easy. Uh, I may do another transaction to send to my Coinami wallet because, look, um, it's in here. I'll probably go away. And then it's also in here. Same, same amount. So, uh, you know, they, they kind of failed on this one, in my opinion. Um, I, I did get my Bitcoin. I did sweep my Bitcoin. So that's in here for sure. See, it's got 12 confirmations. That's that's the, the date. I originally did this on August the 5th. Took a while. So, anyways. Um, this is how I had to split my... Um, how I had to split my uh, Bitcoin Cash from that paper wallet. So um, it, it, it's you probably want to use uh, Electron uh, Electron Cash. Uh, this site right here, specifically Electron Cash. Um, it works. Uh, I, I've used I use this on my wife's. I'm probably going to send the Bitcoin Cash somewhere else. Or basically, I'm not going to uh, split my other paper wallets um, until this one confirms. But Electron Cash seems to work. Unfortunately, um, the Coinami wallet, the Coinami wallet failed me on this one, on splitting it. Um, unless you already had Bitcoins in here. If you already had bitcoins in here and you and you split it like I showed you, um, it worked. But scanning it from a sweeping it from a paper wallet, at least password and protected paper wallets, not so quite because it sweeps it with zero transaction fees. I don't know if that's a bug or recent bug. Maybe they ought to fix it. I'll try to give them, I'll try to give Coinami a link to this video to kind of show them, but. Anyways, uh, Electron Cash works, all right. And uh, use the wallet generator if if you do have a password protected um, private key. Uh, just put it in there. Use the camera function in here. And my this this has a it does have a camera, so I did just let it let it scan the QR code, put the password in, uh, decrypted, and then it gave me the uh, private key in which I needed to um, under here wallet this is electron cash wallet wallet private key and then sweep and then you just put that in there you put your private key in there uh, this should uh, be an address looks like it's an HD it's a new address but when you do it you'll get it's a brand new address. Uh, you'll be able to split your uh, electron, um, your Bitcoin cash that way. Um, let me just get out of this one here. And then you'll see it in here in history. And then to verify it, just go to um, Block Dozer. And then just make sure you see it as unconfirmed. I'm going to have to probably wait a little bit. 
And let me refresh it and see if it is confirmed. Nope, it's still unconfirmed. And so, so there you go. There you have it. That's how I split my paper wallet password protected. It may be a little bit easier if it was not password protected, but anyways, uh, this is how I did it. Um, so it's possible, it's doable. It would have been nice if it if it just worked on Coinami for whatever reason. So uh, can I blame them? Not really, because I think most people had a hard time. Even Tracer had a hard time. Even Ledger kind of almost scared some people. But anyways, um, I was able to figure it out. So I got my um, three dollars out of here. Um, it's really worth thirty-seven dollars. But anyways. Um, I guess this concludes this episode. Uh, feel free to like, dislike, uh, leave a comment, or even do a video response. Until next time, stay tuned.